what I need to do to bring more joy in my experience. All you need to do to bring joy in your all daily experiences is to realize that you are the bliss. There is no joy inherent in any experience. The experiencer is joyous. The experiencer is blissful. What is our mistake is that we completely ignore the experiencer and we look for joy or happiness outside in the experience. So you can see this fundamental mistake has been done here that person is asking, how can my experiences be joyful? It is not possible. Experiences do not give us any ha happiness. They are a way to express our happiness. They are a way to uh, let the universe know that I am blissful. There is no happiness in the experience, just like there is no suffering in the experience. Both of them are illusions. Still, I want to see the bliss outside. You know That will be the follow-up question. Yes, I know I am blissful. Yes, it's not really making my experience blissful. The experience is the same pathetic experience. <laughs> that is... That is still there, you know, I became enlightened, whatever it means, it is still there. The experience has not changed, the body has not changed, the people have not changed, the world probably changed for worse and uh, um, my mind is same. That is the biggest trouble maker. How to get rid of that thing, bring, make it more blissful, make the bliss shine in those experiences. There is a good solution to this, you see. If you want to see the bliss that you are outside what you are, there is kind of no outside you, but for the sake of this question, we can fall down to, to that level of duality and we can say that, yes, your experience is really different from the experiencer and now you need to do a process, you need to do something to transfer the bliss from here to there. So we have that kind of... Um, answer here also, you see. It is called a concessional answer because the person is not really grasping the first answer and the person is still under this illusion that I am different and the experience is something different. So in that case, what we suggest is you enter a lifestyle which is about giving, which is about expressing the bliss that you are. How do you express the bliss that you are? By sharing the bliss, by sharing the happiness with others. I am terribly sad. I am crying all day. You tell me to <laughs> go and share my happiness. I am not happy. How can I make others happy? And here is another belief. Here is another belief that your mental state makes you do things. No, you have the choice to do whatever you want. In your mental state does not matter. We are born like this. We are born very pure. Look at any child. He is crying, he gets a toy, he gets something sweet to eat, he is laughing, he is smiling. He does not hold on to that crying. We are born pure like this. What happens is, slowly we learn to keep the sadness and let go of the joy. This is the human nature nowadays. That the bad moments, the bad experiences, bad memories, the pile up and the good stuff is kind of lost. Looks like the universe is very selective about these things. You see. I never remember anything good in my life, but all these traumatic things, they are repeated again and again in front of the screen that I am watching, the screen of the mind. And you tell me to share joy. How is it even possible in these circumstances? So become a child again. Let go of your conditioning that places too much importance on suffering. And happiness is something Okay, don't tell anybody that I, you are happy. Somebody will take away your happiness. <laughs> this is how we are brought up. Hide your prosperity because thieves are going to rob it. This is how the survival works. And so we use the same thing to on your minds. On your minds. Don't express too much joy. People will think you are mad. You just lost your job and you are throwing a party. They are going to lock you up. This is our conditioning. Become a child. Let go of the conditioning. Start sharing the joy that you are. You have only one bread, one piece of bread. And your conditioning tells you that, you know, keep it. Don't tell anybody you have one piece of bread. And if you find one more, just kill that fellow and get the other bread also, you see. This is your conditioning. You reverse it. You take that one piece of bread, which is your means of survival now. 
you give half of it to your brother your neighbor whoever needs it you see this is a way to break the condition this is the way to share when you very when you don't have anything why don't we do that because we are afraid that we are losing something yes in case of bread probably you lose something but you see if you eat the whole bread you will die in two days and if you eat half of it you will die in one day not much difference but uh, the thing about happiness is when you share it you lose nothing it is not bread our survival does not depend on it so very easy answer it's kind of difficult to do but you can start bit by bit start sharing the happiness cannot appear in the experience by doing or getting you need to be you need to be the bliss and then it shows up in your behavior and then it is expressed and it is reflected from others you make others happy they will make you happy you make make others sad they will ensure that you remain sad for the rest of your life expressing is the key express the bliss that you are forget about your conditioning and i am not blissful you are blissful look at look at your true nature it is always blissful unconditionally happy unconditionally loving and there can be follow up questions to this that i have nobody to share my bliss also you see i have nobody who is ready to take my half rotten bread also <laughs> and this is a result of your selfishness your loneliness is a result of your selfishness now you need to correct it it's very simple nobody is with you because they got nothing from you this is human nature somebody stays with somebody else as long as they are getting something from there nobody is going to stay with you for giving anything you see that is a spiritual quality ordinary people they don't have this quality they cannot give they can only take and you have also done the same thing and still you are worrying you know not worrying actually you are doubting this thing i cannot do it because nobody is there to take it it is simply because uh, i was very selfish i never gave anything to anybody and therefore there is nobody now there is nobody even asking me because they already know the answer that he will say no this is a big problem now here you know somebody may think that i am asking them to go and do the charity no never do that never pay money to the unknown organizations is <laughs> the whole system is corrupt whole humanity is corrupt do not pay money to beggars you you have just extended his suffering by one more day it's okay to die and so on you know we can use our common sense here and see that giving objects giving money multiplies suffering you give some money to a poor person yes he is going to be happy for a few minutes and then he will come back to you oh, i need more money for tomorrow now i need more money for a marriage of my daughter i need more money because i want a big mansion and i i heard that you just give it away so i just i'm just asking you what have you done here is you made a dependent and dependency is a kind of suffering very soon he will learn that you lied you cannot give him every day and that sweetness will turn into bitterness many people will try to take advantage of you so he does not want the money returned from a borrow from him every day he never asked me for returning the money good you know a good source of exploitation here i can exploit this person as long as i want this will happen to you so what do you do when you give away the material things you multiply the suffering it may look like that yes charity is good thing no it is not similarly for service it is kind of middle ground here sometimes you need you need to serve and sometimes you need to avoid serving so again big organizations big names these branded stuff do not serve under them probably you'll never find anybody who says like this who teaches like this <laughs> it is my experience it it kind of amounts to nothing it has to be one to one it has to be your effort you learn nothing you go to a crowd of 1000 people and do some kind of service you are not going to change this guaranteed who knows what happens to whatever you have done who knows you need to do it whenever there is an opportunity that is the rule of servicing service that you do not go and hunt for an opportunity to serve let the opportunity come to you so you are left with nothing here but to give away your bliss you have nothing i i banned everything now you cannot do charity you cannot spend money you cannot you see this is our mm, ignorance that we think that 
this is how I need to be useful for people. No, this is useless, waste of time. You need to directly share the joy. You need to directly share the bliss. It can be a cup of tea also. You see, these are symbolic things. Nobody will talk to you only for a cup of tea. No, the cup of tea is symbolic here. That I am offering you a little bit that I have. It need not be. Send a smiley on the phone. Good enough. You, you shared your happiness. That's all. <laughs> you have spent whole of your life trying to get happiness from objects, from people, from relations, from your garment. <laughs> what kind of person will want that? And from achievements, from intellectual achievements. You have done that for whole of your life. Imagine the amount of karmic stuff it has produced. Can you imagine? It has produced a whole Himalayan mountain. That is what is wrong with humanity. Now they are paying it back. And not only now, they will keep coming and they will keep paying it back. Isn't this illusion amazing? I am sometimes afraid of calling it an illusion because you see, it's so real. The karmic law is probably the strongest law of the mind or the, of the illusion. Hardly anybody knows what it is and we are bound by this law. Oh, you do the good things, do the good things. You will be, you will get rid of the karmic stuff. When I came to know that, no, it will not. It will just postpone your suffering. <laughs> it is like I tell you that, okay, eat this chocolate, enjoy this chocolate. After that, you are going to get five whips, whiplashes. Do you call it enjoyment? Do you call it happiness? This is how your actions work. We have spent our whole lives expecting happiness from these things that are outside me, that are in the illusion. And now, I suddenly want to reverse it. It is going to take a lot of time. You see, this all sounds pessimistic, but you have seen the light now. That is optimistic. Millions and billions have, will never see this. Start now. Start breaking the bonds now. Do not ask for happiness. Do not try to turn your experience into a joyful experience because that's what you want. The wanting is the trouble, isn't it? What, what what does your real self want, you know? Real self means the experiencer. What do you really want as an experiencer? The answer is very simple, nothing. Now, why don't you try to uh, emulate, bring it forward in your behavior also? Well, let it reflect in the behavior also. I, you say, I don't want anything. See what happens. You know it, try to implement it, do it, uh, you know, experiment with it.